Hello, everyone. Well, something else just happened. Pope Francis had lost my vote of confidence, and here's why. I agreed with him when he said that he cannot subdivide the conflict in Ukraine and conflict in general between Ukraine and Russia and Russia and everybody else into pure good and evil. Okay. Okay. But this is bullshit. This is victim shaming. Pure and simple. First of all, any nation has the right to determine the course it wants to run. It's nobody else's business to tell it otherwise. If Ukraine, Finland, Sweden, Georgia, or any other country wants to join NATO, it's their own business. Now, speaking about provocation, Ukraine was being invaded for eight years. How long do you expect it to wait before it finally turns to a stronger organization and say, listen, guys, we cannot hold off this monster any longer. Also, let's take this in the grander scheme of things. Has everybody forgotten Georgia? Do you remember that Russia had hacked off a piece of Georgia? That wasn't that long ago. Does everybody remember that? Do you remember what Russia did in Syria? Everybody forgot that? Or was that a NATO provocation too? So no, this is bullshit. Now, I do agree with him that Ukraine war may have been prevented, but not in the way he implies. I disagree that the only way to prevent the war in Ukraine was for Ukraine to stay neutral, basically roll over and spread its legs for Russia. Pardon me for being coarse. Sorry, not sorry. The way to prevent that was to put UN troops on the ground back when Russia invaded Crimea in Ukrainian southeast in 2014. That would have been a way to prevent this mess. So, Frank, just shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. And you've made me angry. In other news, we kind of knew this already, but, you know, the evidence is mountain of continuing crimes against humanity committed by the Russian troop. Oh, oh was, that, was that provoked too? Somebody forced them. And then there's this that will continue to be ineffective in preventing such crimes. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.